Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a milestone on the uh, uh, 69 Camaro restoration video series. In this video, I'll be showing you the final paint, finally, on a car that I've been looking at primered for the last three years. So in the first part of this video here, I'm showing you, I'm, I'm doing the final prep on the, uh, the firewall. And uh, on this first part here, I'm, I'm kind of detailing around the cow tag, which has the original factory finish on it. And I want to keep that. Uh, I don't want to paint over it. I want to leave that as uh, the original finish. So uh, I'm kind of detailing around that right now so that I can tape around it uh, to protect it from the new paint. So uh, on the firewall, you know, it's typical on some of these old cars where people repaint the firewall and over the last 50 years has probably been painted over a couple of different times. And of course, you know, they always do a crappy job. So I'm in the process right now uh, showing you um, that I'm scraping off all of the original or some of the crappy uh, spray can painted on there over the years. So trying to get it down to the original factory finish which took me quite a while to do, but it was well worth it because I pretty much got the thing down to the original factory black. And in the process, I kind of revealed a couple of interesting things. One of them was the, uh, you can see there, that green T. Those are inspection stamps that the factory put on. And it would have been a T, a B, and a P for trim, body, and paint. And another thing I, I revealed was a date code on the firewall, which in this case is the numeral 10 and uh, for the 10th week of March, which makes sense. Car was built on March 24th. So, uh, and then here's the uh, firewall after it's all finished. So now I'm kind of jumping into the paint booth here where uh, we've got all of the removed body panels off the car and are getting ready to uh, prepare for uh, the first first uh, stage of painting, which is the sealer. So the painter will, will spray on a sealer uh, to kind of fill in any of the sanding marks or any other imperfections to make the surface nice and smooth. So um, we've got all those laid out to do that. And in the next scene here, I'll be showing you uh, the paint wall where all the different uh, paints are up on this shelf that have automatic mixers on them and you can see the mixers turning there and uh, and then the the paint is mixed by a menu system from the uh, from the computer which I'll show you that here coming up so uh, in this scene here, the, the painter is getting together all of his uh, paint gun attachments. And for those of you who may not know, um, nowadays the, the, the paint systems use a plastic uh, jar or whatever, a uh, plastic container that has a special top on it where these paint guns uh, press onto. And then that way you can use different colors and different of the jars. And then you just press in the, uh, the trigger gun there. And as you can see here, he's kind of separating them off in as to what, you know, color they are. And here he's uh, wiping down the final um, uh, thinner and blowing off the dust. And then wiping them down with the tack rag. And he does this at the very final step before he starts shooting. And in this case, uh, shooting the uh, sealer. And he can wipe out any imperfection that he sees there, as you can see what he's doing there. And then wipe it down with the tack rag. And then once all of that is done, then he can start spraying on the sealer, which is what he's doing here.
and he'll do this to each and every panel as well as the uh, body which I'll show you here coming up and the sealer kind of goes on like a, almost it's almost like a translucent primer you can actually see through it. It's got a little translucence to it. And, uh, but you can see there, it, it smooths out the surface. Plus, it, it kind of gives you a visual of any imperfections that may show up. And here are the fenders after the sealer has dried. And you can see they've got a, a very nice, even, smooth finish to them. And you may see a little primer sticking through, as I say, this sealer is a little on the translucent side. But it really makes a difference on how the overall smoothness of the paint comes out. So here he's tack, uh, wiping the car down with the uh, tack rag. And then he's applying the sealer. He's doing it outside the booth because um, there are still some panels in there drying. And the sealer goes on very quickly and dries pretty fast. So uh, you can easily do it outside the, the booth. It, it really only takes a very few minutes to to put that sealer on. So then here he's uh, applying the first blue paint to the panels and he's doing the jams first. I'm kind of jumping around here. This this was actually done before the sealer was applied in that previous shot. But I wanted to show uh, He'll do all of the jams and the underneath of, of certain panels uh, first and then lets that dry overnight. And then the next day he comes in and does the, uh, the backside and, the, and so on. So here you can see the underside of the hood, which turned out very nice. And the jams all look beautiful. And then back to the computer paint uh, system that I was telling you about. So uh, the, the computer puts out a menu of the color that you want. And uh, you can see there are all the different colors that have to be mixed in to make, an, uh, to make the color, which in this case is Le Mans Blue. So then they put the can on this scale right here. And the scale measures in grams, and you just drip in the different colors until you reach a certain gram level, uh, according to the menu system on the computer, and that's where the color comes from. So it's pretty interesting. And then once the paint is all mixed up, then he attaches the can to the, uh, to the paint mixer there to get it thoroughly mixed. The last thing you want is any kind of color that's not mixed in thoroughly. Then here are the plastic uh, uh, containers that I was telling you about. You can see those those red, um, they're almost like inserts where the, where the paint gun presses in and he can do it on the fly. It's, again, a real interesting setup. So here we've just put the body into the paint booth and it's ready to get the color. So then once it's in the paint booth, uh, you spend some time taping up the areas, obviously, that you don't want to be painted. So, And then here I'm shooting it from outside the booth because uh, I'm not wearing the, the correct attire. It's almost like a hospital environment in there. You don't want any contaminants on your clothes or anything to be in the booth at the same time because it can be circulated and ended up on the end up on the car. So I'm shooting this from outside through a, a very dirty piece of glass. So 
hence the fuzziness. But I, I did want to catch him actually shooting the color on the car. And once he paints the blue on there, then he, uh, he waits a, an hour or so, and then he goes in and shoots the clear over that. And then the car sits overnight inside the booth to cure. So then after it's cured, here's the next day after we pulled it out of the booth, and I'm pulling off all the paper now. It's kind of like unwrapping a present. And in this case, the paint turned out beautiful. There are no runs or drips or anything that have to be uh, taken care of afterwards, which often happens. But in this case, everything went well and we don't have to touch anything up. So now what we'll do is we'll let the paint cure for a while. I'll get the car back together again with the doors and the fenders and everything all lined up. And then we will... Uh, do a surface sanding. We have to cut and polish the paint. So uh, once everything's lined up, then we'll we'll cut it. We'll paint on the stripes. We'll cut it again, and then uh, clear it one more time, and then polish it after that. So, um, and here's the end result. But again, this this paint is not cut and polished yet, which again. After I have the whole car assembled, then I'll be doing a video on that as well. But you can see the paint turned out beautiful. Very little orange peel. And, and like I said, when we, when we cut this paint down, we'll use like a thou, uh, 1500 grit um, probably like a, uh, a foam pad and and then we'll apply the stripes and clear over that. Then we'll have to cut it down again and, and buff it out. But uh, even the way it is now, it looks beautiful. So, and here's my finished product on the, uh, on the firewall, nicely painted. So that's going to do it for this video. I, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, this is a shot of the fender up close with the day coat on there, the ninth week. Uh, but anyway, the rest of the, uh, the end of this video are different shots of the pieces all finished. So um, again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share. It helps the channel. And look forward to some more videos on the build on this car. So... Uh, thank you so much for watching.